With this hour, President Trump is expected to sign a landmark executive order affirming U.S. commitment to developing artificial intelligence. It coincides with another big milestone for AI, too, a competition between a former debating world champion and an IBM computer. Earlier, I spoke about the project with Dario Gill, director of IBM Research. Listen in. Here with Project Debater, uh, the, the system has to listen for four minutes of continuous speech, right, when, when the, the, the human debater is presenting arguments. So it needs to listen to those four minutes, get the essence of what is being said, and be able to generate a four-minute answer to that, a rebuttal, essentially being able to write an essay on the fly after what it's listened. So it's really pushing the boundaries to kinds of AI systems that are more interactive with us and can understand us better. And if they do, we could trust these systems more. So I want to do a compare and contrast. What's changed between IBM's Watson on Jeopardy and what we're going to see tonight in this debate? Well, in the context, what I would say the biggest change of what is happening as a milestone in AI is that many of the previous demonstrations that we have seen, whether it was Jeopardy or Chess or Go, in the end they were the realm of games. And games have very well-defined set of rules, and there are clear winners and losers. Whereas in a debate, even though we'll focus sometimes about like who won the debate and so on, that's really not our core focus. Our focus is our ability to drive this mastery of language and to be able to generate persuasive arguments. And if in the end it enriches us and we have with a more sophisticated and a better point of view, for us that's a win. So it's about building AI that can deal with the complexity of the daily world as opposed to games where you know there's a lot of clarity as to what you have to do to win or lose so i have to ask you who do you think is going to win tonight well i'm i'm partial today of course you know our team has been working so hard for so many years so it, it will be a wonderful you know i just want the, that we have a good debate both sides i think are going to contribute very powerful arguments and in the end, let me put it this way, what we really want is to create systems that are compatible with us, that work with us so that we can make better decisions. So it's not about outsourcing our decisions to them, but helping us to reason and bring facts better. So if the system does that, I would think it's a big win for all of us.